I'm looking outside my window I try to see where my luck goes I just don't know how it slips out There must be some kind of plan Every person could be you though A pretty guy with a halo But who am I kidding please now I gotta realize that you that little like video I put in the front. I kind of wanted to do like a two part YouTube video. I don't know. I wanted to do like a music video style so you could see all the colors and shades up close and just kind of get an idea of what the collection looks like and then I thought I would talk about it and make it short and super sweet so you could kind of hear a little bit more about how I feel about the textures of everything and how they went on 
and yeah, just give you a little more information. So there's something for everyone. So if you like the music video style, there's the first half, and if you like to get a little more information in detail, there's the second half, or if you're like me and you want it all, you can watch the whole video. Anyway, I had to make this video because I got this in the mail and I was like, whoa, I've never seen anything like this before, but this was legitimately a powder. Like it looked like it was like an eyeshadow palette or a blush palette and it's for your lips, so I had to do this. So anyway, this video is all is gonna be about Laura Mercier's entire new collection. It's limited edition, it's all about Paris and New York. That's where they drew inspiration from when it comes to the shades, and they came out with lip powders, which is insane. So we're talking about the lip powders today, we're gonna talk about the eyeshadow sticks, which is our caviar eyeshadow sticks, and then also the brand new lipsticks, which are of the Velour Matte Formula, which I love a lot. I have a ton of them and they are some of my favorite lipsticks. I wear them all the time. So if you'd like to hear my opinion on the collection, then just keep watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little red button down below. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's free and you might as well because you never know what type of video I'll put out that might be of extreme interest to you and you don't want to miss out on it. So why not subscribe? All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so they sent me this bomb package in the mail. I thought this was really, really pretty. Super cute packaging. Okay, also, I'm sorry, there's construction going on outside, and of course, it started as soon as I started filming. Like, I was shooting the whole music video part, which is all going to be, like, voiceover, and no saw, no, like, leaf blowers going. Now the leaf blower is on full effect. Let's get started with the lip powders, because I'm sure that's what you're all here to see, and hear about. They have two shades, Paris and New York. Here they are, beautiful packaging. I've already put my fingerprints all through them. Just so you guys know, I'm wearing New York on my lips right now. Okay, and then I also use the Beam and Rush Caviar Eye Sticks on my eyes. And any other products that I have on my face, I'll list them down below, as well as all the stuff that I talk about today. So you can find the links to everything down below if you wanna look a little more into it. Um, yeah, I'll just make it easy for you guys so everything will be in the description bar, so make sure to check that. Okay, so the first lip powder, the one I'm wearing right now, New York, has a lot more bolder colors. It has like a tangerine and hot pink and then a more like Merlot color. The way you're supposed to use it is you go in with the lip balm section first just to moisturize your lips so the powder has something to stick onto and then you can use your finger or a brush to mix the three colors together, put them on your lips or what I realized is if you want to do more of an ombre lip, you can always go in with like the darker shades towards the outside and then the lighter colors towards the inside of your lip to give you that ombre look. And then I just like to seal the powder um, because it's more of a dry matte feel. So I just like to seal the powder by tapping on a little bit more of the balm, but you don't have to do that. It's definitely up to you. But my opinion about these, I think they're absolutely awesome. Um, Pros, I totally love the packaging. I think that it's absolutely beautiful. I haven't seen anything like this. I love the shades. I think these are perfect for spring and summer. Um, I know I'll be wearing this one a ton. Um, the other one is a little more muted pink, a little more of a baby doll pink. I know I'll be wearing that one as well when I wanna do like a more bold eye, but I feel like this shade is so perfect for spring and summer. It's kind of like an iridescent sheen to my lip as well, so I haven't really worn an iridescent lip in a long time. I feel like everything's been matte. These also look really pretty with a gloss over them, so I have also tested these out with just a clear gloss, a really pretty look as well. As far as a con for this, the only thing I can see is if you don't use a brush and you use your finger like I did today, then you're definitely gonna need a way to like wipe your hand because you're gonna go in to apply the color on your finger so you need something like if you are the type of person that carries like tissues in your bag you're fine but other than that I think that it's totally worth it for the color payoff okay so Paris is the other shade let me just show you this one really quick um this one like I said is a little more of a muted pink I think the colors kind of differ a little more too so you can really go in with that deep plummy purple and do the outside of your lips and then put that light baby pink on the inside just to make your lips pop. Or you can mix them all together and I really love that shade as well too. But this is definitely one of the colors I'll be wearing when I have like a more bold eye and I just want to add like a baby pink lip something very easy. Also, the middle shade is really stunning as far as making your lips pop and look juicy. Okay, up next, I wanna talk about the lipsticks. Oh my God, these shades, I love these. They give me like Miami. Um, if I'm going to pick two that really, really stood out to me, I guess I'll probably say Soray, which is like the orangey tone one and the purple one in Chill because these are 
definitely not like the other shades they have. They're really, really unique. And I think that like the orangey tone will look so pretty with like with golden skin and a little bit of body shimmer and um, a really pretty sundress. And the purple is also really fun and funky as well. It's like something that I don't wear all the time, but it's a very wearable purple for like spring and summer. These go on extremely matte, but they're very, very comfortable. I never feel like my lips are dry. It's not like um, a liquid matte lipstick. So if you're the type of person who likes a matte lip, but the liquid lipsticks are always too dry, try these babies because they're very matte, but they don't feel like they're sucking the life out of your lip. Okay, next I wanna talk about the caveat eye sticks so four caviar eye sticks came out there are two matte ones ginger and caviar these two and they have like the matte packaging as well and then there are two that are iridescent that are super fun um, these are beam and rush more matte caviar sticks are more comparable to the ones they've had in the past these are really pretty neutral shades really good if you want to do like a neutral eye or really good as an eye base I love using these as an eye base this is actually all I use now for the base of my eyeshadows I used to use concealer but I like these because they have different shades and hues so I can kind of match them with the eyeshadow look I'm gonna do. But I really, really like these. They don't crease. You can just draw them onto your lid and then blend them out with a brush or draw them onto your lid and smooth them out with your finger. Either way, super easy, love, love. So the iridescent ones are definitely more of a newer style caviar stick than what I've tried at least in the past. So Rush is super fun. This one is almost like a glitter only stick. So there's really no base to it. Um, it's just pretty much like glitter particle. I love this one because you can add it on top of another caviar stick. I put it like right underneath in the inner corner of my eyes and then over top of the caviar stick um, beam. And you can kind of see as I'm moving my hand, one direction it's like pink and kind of like a bronzy in tone type of shade. And then you move it again and it's like blue green. And then you move it again and it's like pink. So it's just a really, really fun shade. This is a fun way because you can control it. It's in stick form so you don't have any fallout um, and then you can get that little bit of sparkle on your eye and I actually put that over top of beam beam is a more white traditional iridescent shade so this one's super fun because it's really really bright it kind of has a like unicorn feel to it all right guys so that is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this little fun video that I put together I thought it'd be interesting to do a little music video and then also talk about the products as well in the same video so I hope you enjoyed that so comment down below let me know your thoughts on whether or not you like the collection what you think about lip powders tell me how you feel about lip powders like is this something you would try out is this something that you've used before or is this like not for you let me know um, I think they're super fun and innovative and I actually really really like them so um, but I'm interested to see how you guys feel about them too if you haven't had the opportunity to like and subscribe to my channel I'd really really appreciate it if you did subscribe um, give me a little like and some love and I will see you guys in my next video bye Oh, 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 oh,